episode, DIY, Christy and Mel, we are going to learn how to make a book press. A book press, you ask? I know. It is a homemade device that lets you make your very own perfect bound books. Like this one. You can make any kind of book that you want. A notebook, a sketchbook, your own novel, whatever. So for today's project, you're going to need two wig nuts and four washers, two bolts, and all of these can be any size as long as they fit together. You're gonna need two pieces of wood. These can also be any size that you wish as long as they are the same width on one side as each other. Okay, for tools, you're gonna need one power drill with a drill bit that is the right size for the bolt that you've chosen. <laughs> So, uh, to set up here, so when we're drilling right through our press, we have risers. Uh, they're just scrap wood that you can screw into and uh, not worry about damaging so that you don't damage the table that you're working on. You're either going to need a clamp or someone handy who can, and strong, who can hold this down. We don't have any C-clamps, so Mel here is just going to hold this. Well, I screwed in about three quarters of an inch to the inside of the wood. Leave the first bolt in while you're drilling the second hole to make sure that everything can align. align. Again, three quarters of an inch inside the edge of the wood. So now that the holes are drilled, make sure that everything fits nicely. We'll show you a good close up there. Um, and be sure to put the washers with the bolts on both sides to protect the wood from getting dented. So after having completed all those steps, you now have one book press, which you can use to make your very own soft covered books. Now we will begin showing you the steps that will be required to actually make a book. You can use any kind of paper. Lined paper, white paper, small colored paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> to finish off the binding you'll need white glue and a paintbrush. For our purposes today, uh, we are going to make a book that is half the size of a standard piece of letter-sized paper. So what you have to do is fold every single piece of paper precisely in half <coughs> until you have all of the paper that you want for your book. pages are clamped in the book press, you're going to apply a small bead of white glue all along the spine. And then spread it out using a brush. making sure to get every single page glued up. Don't be afraid to use a lot of glue because it'll shrink when it dries. Wait a few hours for it to dry completely and you can move on to the next step. One day later. Okay, so now that we've let the glue dry, and wait it overnight. Um, you can safely take the book block out of the press and it will stay together. Here you have the innards for the beautiful sketchbook that you're about to make. So the next step is to make the cover. Using the book block, 
figure out how wide your cover needs to be. Remember that it should be just a tiny bit bigger than the book block itself, like one millimeter bigger. We've already cut our piece to the right width. It is obviously too long, which is what we want, so that we can have a little bit of extra for gluing and then we can just trim it in the end. So the first thing that you have to do is make a crease for where the spine is gonna be. To make a nice clean crease, center this here and figure out where you need that fold to be. And using the magical spatula, just press down on the paper um, to crease it so that you can then fold it cleanly. You can use anything that is like a spatula, even a butter knife. So as you can see here, I have a nice, clean, beautiful fold. Now what you're going to do is load these two pieces back into the book press so that they're all lined up and you can glue the cover to the spine of your book block. So once it's lined up, clamp down with your book press. impatient like we are, we like to use a specialized tool. We call it a hair dryer. So now that the glue is dry with the help of our specialized equipment, uh, you can safely take the book out of the book press again so that you can make the final fold and the final cut to your end product. So now you have a book with one cover that is perfect and one cover that is way too long. So the first thing you need to do is make a fold along this line with your spatula or butter knife or whatever it is that you're using. Just score it like that and then fold it right, fold it right over and you'll see you have a beautiful perfect spine. So now one thing left to do is to cut along here. All you need is your ruler. Mark where you need that cut. Flip this over so that it's not in your way. And you have one perfect bound sketchbook that you've made yourself and you can do your cover any way that you like. For the cover design you could think about printing a logo or a saying or a picture onto the paper before you make your cover which is what was done here um, just using a regular old laser printer. You could also once the, the book is finished Draw, draw a cover <laughs> yourself. Thanks for stopping by. We come from the land of milk and honey. Milk and honey's all I crave. We come from the land.